America depends on the sea and our waterways for security and prosperity. The U.S. Coast Guard is on the front lines, protecting the American people and our homeland in an ever-evolving maritime environment. We are at work around the world, from the Arctic to the Horn of Africa, in the South China Sea and the Middle East, and throughout 95,000 miles of U.S. coastline and 25,000 miles of our invaluable inland waterway systems. The Coast Guard is a multi-purpose force. It is a military service, a law enforcement organization, a regulatory agency, a first responder, and a member of the intelligence community. Our unique position within the Department of Homeland Security and our enduring role with the Department of Defense allows us to foster domestic and international cooperation, build stakeholder capacity, and exert influence at home and abroad. We have matured over our 230-year history, adapting our people, assets, and capabilities to emerging demands. When a crisis occurs, the American people trust us to respond. As challenges to our national security and global influence grow more complex, the need for a ready, relevant, and responsive Coast Guard has never been greater. In times of crisis, the American people count on the U.S. Coast Guard. On-scene initiative and a commitment to mission excellence have been hallmarks of the Coast Guard workforce for its entire 230-year history. The service leads America's response during maritime disasters and catastrophic events. And unfortunately, these types of events will continue to impact the maritime domain and our nation's citizens. But the Coast Guard is agile and adaptive with integrated and executable plans that enable rapid response. Our greatest value is the ability to shift quickly between missions to meet national priorities in day-to-day -day operations and in times of crisis. The Coast Guard's broad authorities, strong relationships, and leadership ensure we will continue to meet the mission demands that the American public expects. The Coast Guard serves worldwide on all seven continents, bridging the gaps between security, defense, and diplomacy. We exemplify the U.S. commitment to the rule of law, from upholding international security standards in foreign ports to enforcing UN sanctions. Our success in achieving national security goals is dependent on engagement, partnership, and presence. Some of our competitors can be coercive and antagonistic. The Coast Guard is proud to model acceptable maritime behaviors alongside partner navies and Coast Guards who respect international laws and norms on the high seas. We lead efforts to ensure that maritime interactions are safe and professional. So much so that the white hull with the red racing stripe that has adorned Coast Guard vessels since 1967 is now an iconic symbol for maritime security and governance. Over the next 10 years, we will be replacing our legacy fleet with a new fleet of highly capable cutters. This investment in new technology ensures continued American maritime safety and security and symbolizes our enduring commitment to our international partners and a rules-based system that promotes peace, security, prosperity, and the sovereignty of all nations. The Arctic is a vast and unforgiving environment. In addition to thousands of American citizens, the Arctic contains vast resources in energy, minerals, fisheries, and other commercial resources. As the climate changes, access to these resources is expanding, intensifying global interest in the area. The United States has one million square miles of territorial waters, an exclusive economic zone to protect in the Arctic, and the changing environment is raising security, safety, and sustainability concerns. Russia and China have both declared the Arctic a strategic priority. The competition does not have to lead to conflict. For more than 150 years, the Coast Guard has protected American interests in the Arctic and polar regions. A new fleet of polar icebreakers is under construction, and these ships will allow the service to better uphold American sovereignty, 
advance national strategic interests, and promote economic prosperity in the region. We are a strategic leader in forums such as the Arctic Council, the Arctic Coast Guard Forum, and the International Maritime Organization. Through these organizations, we partner with other nations to keep the region safe, prosperous, and cooperative. As always, the Coast Guard provides maritime safety and security to all Americans, including hundreds of villages, as well as visitors and thousands of seasonal workers in the U.S. Arctic. As the region continues to open and strategic competition drives more actors to look to the Arctic for economic and geopolitical advantages, the demand for Coast Guard presence in the Arctic will grow. The stakes in the Arctic are high, and we stand ready to lead, maintaining balance and stability in this vast and unforgiving environment. When people engage in fishing that is illegal, unreported, or unregulated, they are undermining a nation's sovereignty, threatening its economic security, and weakening global rules-based order. This is IUU fishing, and the Coast Guard is working to stop it. Fish is an essential protein source to over 40% of the global population. IUU fishing hurts a nation's ability to achieve domestic food security. It disrupts the economies of coastal states and small developing island nations, simultaneously hurting local fishers and depleting fish stocks. With vast ocean territories and little capacity to patrol their domains or enforce fisheries regulations, tensions rise and global geopolitical security is threatened. When illegally caught fish enter the global market, American fishers, who are subject to laws and standards that promote sustainability, find themselves at a disadvantage. IUU fishing threatens the environment, the economy, and thereby threatens national security. In fact, it has replaced piracy as the leading global maritime security threat. Unfortunately, IUU fishing often happens in concert with other illegal activities, such as human trafficking, forced labor, and the trafficking of other illegal substances. Illegal fishing operations are adaptable, highly mobile, and increasingly sophisticated. They pose a tough maritime governance challenge. But the Coast Guard is ready to respond to this threat. We are working to build a broad coalition of partners around the world to face this challenge head on. We excel at forging human-to-human -human partnerships, which result in collaborative and durable networks. The Coast Guard is providing global leadership to combat IUU fishing, creating a united force for stability, legitimacy, and order. Our nation's system of ports and waterways accounts for over $5.4 trillion of the nation's annual economic activity and supports 30.8 million American jobs. Our ports are essential to our competitiveness in a global marketplace, serving as a gateway for over 90% of all overseas trade. In short, our security and prosperity are inextricably linked to a safe and efficient marine transportation system, or MTS. We're working with international organizations like the IMO to advance sustainability in global shipping. And the Coast Guard has an enduring role in facilitating commerce through the MTS here at home. Our waterways connect America's consumers, producers, manufacturers, and farmers to domestic and global markets. Any disruption to that supply chain, whether man-made or natural, affects our economy and national security. Our broad authorities and strong relationships allow us to adapt quickly and get commerce flowing again after a crisis or natural disaster. And as the country works to recover from the COVID-19 crisis, the Coast Guard's enduring role protecting the vitality of the American economy has never been more important. In the U.S. Coast Guard, our people are our greatest strength and we're working to make the service even stronger by fostering an inclusive workplace and recruiting diverse talent from the American public we serve. Team performance, decision-making, and collaboration increase when leaders intentionally modify their inclusive behaviors. Diverse teams are more innovative and creative, making them better equipped for the challenges of today. 
To tackle our complex operating environment, we need to harness the full power of the background and experience of every member of our workforce. We are committed to removing the barriers that prevent that from happening. We are funding a number of strategic initiatives to enhance diversity and inclusion in our workforce and fostering leadership that will advance these values. Every member of our service shares a commitment to our core values of honor, respect, and devotion to duty. The Coast Guard needs the very best people our nation has to offer to defend our freedoms, ensure prosperity, and save those in peril. To remain the world's best Coast Guard, we must be the world's most diverse and inclusive Coast Guard. The challenges America faces at home and abroad are complex, and the need for a ready, relevant, and responsive Coast Guard has never been greater. We'll continue to lead, to foster domestic and international cooperation, build stakeholder capacity, and exert positive influence in the maritime domain at home and abroad. In the Arctic, we're protecting American communities, natural resources, and our nation's sovereignty. IUU fishing is a threat to individuals, regional stability, global markets, and the environment. And we're working with partners across the globe to fight it. The Coast Guard continues to protect our marine transportation system, ensuring our waterways remain safe and secure conduits for global commerce. And we are fostering inclusion and diversity across our workforce because our people are the cornerstone of our readiness. We're working to ensure a safe, secure, and prosperous homeland, and will remain always ready to meet the needs of our great nation.